Hello everyone and welcome to part four of the diorama build. Today we will be working on the walls of the depot. So we have four walls to be doing, two, actually five walls. They get part with two at the front, two at the sides and one at the back. So I was unsure how I was going to make the walls. Would I just go for convenience like always and 3D print them or would I make them from scratch? So I popped onto Google and see how other people were making theirs for their dioramas. So I decided I would use the leftover foam board that we use for the base of the depot and for the construction site section. Now, the next issue that I had is what type of wall was I going to make? Would I go for just simple and make it block? Would I go in Tricket and make it a bit of a stone texture like many of the walls around here in Ireland? Or would I see if it was possible to get some sort of stone texture that we could roll into the concrete acrylic once I had covered the pieces of foam board for the walls. So I thought printing would be the handiest as always. So I went on to Cult 3D and found a stone texture roller. So this is it and it's printed. Now I get it to focus free. So that would have been the texture of the wall that would have came out. And this was our test print. Now I try to get it to focus. It does have a nice design, but I had a few issues with it. The roller itself was sticking to the acrylic and it was pulling up so you can see a lot of the white patches. I wasn't really how it came out when wasn't really happy of how it came out once it dried. So I used the other side and I cut in a block texture. And that's how the block texture came out. And I much, much, much prefer how this came out compared to how that came out. Now I know it is a little light, it was just a test print or a test piece so I went light with the, uh, the acrylic so obviously you can see the white parts of the foam board through it but it looks far nicer I think in my opinion anyways than how the textured wall came out on the roller. So since I was happy with that, I went ahead obviously off camera because my God, did it take me a long time. And I have etched into, let's give it a good focus. Some of them are double sided, some of them are just single sided. So I'd say it easily took me about two hours of cutting into that foam board to get that wall design. Thankfully, some of them are just one sided. And you just need the one coat. Other pieces then are double sided. So I'm going to have to coat it, let it dry, coat it, let it dry, and we'll see how it comes out. And once all the pieces are dry, we will view them. So for you today, I will do one of the front sections on camera. No. And I'll do the rest off camera because like everything else, if I do all of them, you get bored, you might fall asleep. And you don't want that. So now that's my concrete acrylic. I go through quite a lot of this for the bridge beams that I do make. Uh, you'll see in past uh, past video of how I make it, if you haven't already seen it. Feel free to click the, the pop-up and let me know what you think of my bridge beams. So again, the acrylic paste looks pretty much like mortar or concrete. Um, I'm going to leave folks for you there now. But it's a much smoother texture than the, the asphalt was when I was doing the base of it. So I 
I've noticed when I'm spreading on the foam board, it's much easier to spread than it was for the bridge sections or my bridge beams. Pardon me. For some reason, it just glides on nice and soft. Now, once I have the whole thing coated, I'm going to have to cut in each block again, which is a little tedious. I must say this video is a little late coming to you. I thought after, well, not I thought, I felt after cutting out all of these, or, or yeah, cutting out all of the blocks in the wall section burnt me out a little and I didn't have much interest in doing this video for a while. But here I am today. Back on the horse. Now, if anyone has any questions on the diorama so far, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And for the acrylic uh, paste, I will link the website in the comments like always and there's a few of you that got on to me especially about the the asphalt of where I got it it's down below I think it is very good for what you get I think it took might be eight or nine quid and it would last you a very long time unless you decide to do something big like a depot and you need to order in a second one because you have none left for the road for the construction section. But you look, it's first world problems and all that jazz. Right. Now I found after applying the acrylic, it's best to endure. Clean off the spatula. Actually, I get a bigger one in a sec. Yeah. Right. We got the bigger one. So, you wet the spatula. And you pull it across. And it generally gives you a nice smooth. Now I'm going to have to do that again because I made a balls of it. So put that back on. We will clean it. And we will start again. Some of you might have a more steadier hand than I do. I think it's I drink too much coffee. I'm a bit of an addict. Right, that'll do for us. Now, all I have to do is find the lines I etched in. So that's going to be fun. Right, that's... Now, thankfully, before I had started this, I have etched them in the front too, so I can get a rough idea of... Oh dear lord. that again. I hope you can see that all right there, camera. And 
That does not look right. Thankfully with the acrylic it's easy enough one to fix. And my only problem is trying to find it out right there. There we go. Is finding the smaller ones that make them into the blocks. Does not look like that. So also they will. This just took over a couple of times. If I can get the excess off, and I have no indication on. The smaller, mm. now was I smart and did I etch them in here? I think I did. Oh, we did. Now we're good for something. Now they're harder than I thought to find. But from doing it for so, yeah. Even those coaters, and maybe if I can find them, <clears throat> I can just coat or cut in on the acrylic paste. That might do the job for us. Might be all right. I think at the end of the day, as long as it resembles. No. So. A little harder than I thought it would be now, to be perfectly honest. I think now for the next block, the next section that I do, I will uh, come up with a better plan. And maybe find a better way to figure out how to mark them before coating over them. Instead of just poking around like this and try to figure out where the gap is. But sure. I'm learning, ye are learning. What more could you want? Maybe you learn from my mistakes. Maybe you make the same mistakes as I will. Maybe I should become a butcher because it's pretty much what I'm doing to this. Absolutely buttering it. Now, question for you Are any of you going to Bama this year? As I am, and I am really, really looking forward to it. I watch so many of the videos on the YouTube, and I just find it so fascinating. And I'm really looking forward to seeing it, and maybe I might bump into a few of you. So, what are we thinking? Is that possible? I think it's not so bad. Right. I will continue on the rest of these off camera and I'll come back to you once I have them all done. Alrighty, so that is the wall sections all done and coated in the concrete acrylic and I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. Uh, so the first two that I did, two smaller ones which we had the front used an old uh, tub of the acrylic, it was quite a thick uh, consistency and then the last three the bigger sections I used the brand new tub and it was quite a thinner consistency 
uh, spread really easy, but then when it dries, you can see that it left or it came through the. Let me see if you can see it there now. Just along here, uh, the writing that I used to identify the wall sections. I am contemplating going over it one more time to cover it, but then again, it kind of gives a nice graffiti uh, effect that I wasn't really going for, but it is a bit of an added bonus. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to cut the video here as it's been quite long for you. Uh, and the next video, we will put up all the walls and the footpaths to the diorama. And that would be pretty much this section finished. So I hope you've been enjoying the diorama build series so far. Uh, make sure to hit the like button for the video and if you haven't already I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. It does mean a lot to me. Uh, yeah, so that's that for today. All the best. Have a good day.